the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time the Lord is good. Now let us go ahead and believe God for something great tonight. Let us believe God for something fresh, something new. Let us trust him that whatever he has started is able to complete. Let me take you to the scriptures before we pray. Daniel chapter 10. Let's go to the power that sustains our life, the word of life, the word of God, the grace that we enjoy. Without the word, we are empty. Without the word, the enemy will have access to our lives. But by the power and the grace of the word of the Lord, we are able to speak and silence the enemy. Thank you, Jesus, for our salvation, for our deliverance, for our family, for our life, for our joy, for all you've done in our lives. Daniel chapter 10, please. Go with me with joy into the word of the Lord. Let us go with joy. Let's go with joy to his word. You must love to embrace his word. If you want to enjoy the best on earth and in heaven, his word must liven your spirit. Daniel chapter 10, just four verses tonight. Verses 10 to 14. Suddenly, a hand touched me. Are you there? Which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hands. And he said to me, O oh, Daniel, man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright. For I have not been sent. Are, are you with me? Are, are you with there? Let me start again from verse 10. Suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hand. Verse 11 again. And he said to me, O oh, Daniel, Man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright, for I have now been sent to you. The Lord will send his angels on your behalf. Hey, my God will send his angels on assignment to deal with your case, to stand and fight for you in the name of Jesus. While he was speaking this word to me, I stood trembling. The power of his word shook that man called Daniel. Look at verse, verse 12. Then he said to me, I hope you are following. Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. Did you hear that? From the first day that Daniel started praying, God answered him. And I have come because of your words. So God dispatched his angels on behalf of Daniel. Immediately he prayed. Look at verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. For I had been left alone there with the king of Persia, verse 14, brothers and sisters. Now I, I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the last days, for the vision refers to many days yet to come. Please understand this before I pray. God gave this boy called Daniel a vision. Daniel went to the Lord in prayers that he wants to know what are the things that God will do in the later days. And God answered him right there. But the moment the prayers were answered, something happened that interrupted the delivery of the answer to his prayers. And I'm telling you the truth. This is the second or third time in one year God will take me to this passage. Every time he takes me there, I see something new. Every time God takes me to this passage, is for someone. I decree tonight, Every demonic resistance to your joy. Hey, Makali Bus. Every demonic resistance to your joy. Every demonic resistance to your family. Every demonic resistance to transformation that God has ordained for your children. Answers to your prayer. I decree my God will destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic resistance. Limiting the joy of your family. Limiting your destiny, your ministry, your career, your business. Injuring the joy of your children. I command them destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you. We bless your name for what you are about to do. We thank you for what you have done. We give you praise for the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. Thank you for the entrance of your word tonight. Thank you for the light that is coming and illuminating our lives. Thank you for the light and power of your word. We ask that, Lord, tonight you will expose and destroy every symbol of resistance against our joy, against our families, against our, 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 our pro promotion, against our progress, against our destiny. Daddy, we decree you will expose and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight is the night for someone on this platform. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to say it several times. Tonight is the night someone has been praying for. Tonight is the night someone has been desiring, looking forward to. Tonight is the delivery of someone's many years of crying. Tonight is the night of change for someone. I heard him loud and clear. Tonight it is a destiny night for someone on this platform. Tonight is a night of change and transformation for someone. I believe I hear him loud and clear, and I know he will not put you to shame. Pay a rapt attention to his word. The deliverer, the messenger, is not the one that has sent the message. I am a messenger. The one that has sent the message is behind his word. Listen, learn, launch, and you will be lifted. Tonight, I'm talking and discussing with you what we are fighting and praying for. Exposing and destroying demonic resistance. Exposing and destroying demonic resistance. Exposing and destroying Everybody say exposing and destroying demonic resistance. Say it as if you believe God is answering you. Exposing and destroying demonic resistance. Believe me tonight, I am opening up something that you may have even ignored. Many people pray with all their strength, with all their power, with all their energy. Many people believe that God has answered. But why is it not coming to pass? Paraventure, there is something that is blocking, obstructing the delivery. And that is what I'm addressing tonight. Whatever is obstructing the delivery of answers to your prayer, my God will destroy tonight. In the name of Jesus, whatever is limiting the joy of your life, your family, your progress, your destiny, your ministry, your career, your business, your children, whatever you've been praying for, whatever is limiting the delivery of answers to your prayers in these areas of life, God will destroy in the name of Jesus. Please understand, there are two major focus tonight because we're going to pray, do a lot of prayer tonight. I'm going to talk less, we pray more. Please get ready to pray. Get ready to speak in tongues. Get ready to bulldoze some things. It's a night of warfare. Two things tonight. Please hear me. Two things. You will pray against demonic resistance and pray for angelic reinforcement. You will pray against demonic resistance and pray for angelic reinforcement. Those are the two major focus tonight. But before I go into that, please understand that there are demonic resistance. There are forces that want to hinder or resist your destiny helpers. There are forces that want to limit or hinder the prayers to your answers to the prayers you cried out for, you fasted for, you labored for. Believe me sincerely, it is real. I am not, I'm not bringing spiritual jargon to you tonight. It is real. They are there. It's working against many people daily. Please let me under, share this with you. When I was in the sorry, it was when I was in Sunday school, God blessed me. I was very good, brilliant. I came out of Sunday school with brilliant results. But watch this. These demonic forces 
prince of Persia put me in a net. I was in a net for four years. I'm not joking. For four good years. I kept on sitting for the admission into university. They were either cis maths or cis physics or, or with all chemistry. Something will happen for me not to move forward. For four good years. Please understand this. Four years is not a joke for a young boy that wants to cross over to the university. People I was teaching in schools, I was attending their matriculation celebration, the entrance, uh, the, 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 the celebration of getting people into, into the university. They call it matriculation. I was going there celebrating with them. These are people I taught, I supported to pass exams. When demonic forces are resisting you, you cannot discuss. After the third year, something came to me and said, boy, you need to rise up for warfare. You need to take up the battle and take it to the, to the door of the enemy. Brothers and sisters, and I started praying. I started fasting. This was, can I shock you? I was not even born again. All I know is just pray and fast. I know nothing about the word of the Lord, but I know that God answers prayers. And I fasted and prayed, and at the end of the fast, I went to see a minister of God, a woman of God. And as I sat before this woman, this man said, what you saw, because I saw in my dream, let me reverse back. I saw in my dream after the fasting that I was in a net. That's what I'm describing. I saw myself in a net, and I was struggling to come out of that net. So, and I went to this woman of God, I said, I don't know. I was fasting. After my fast, I saw this. <laughs> and the woman laughed. And she said, you know what? They put you in, in, a, in a box, in a net that you cannot escape. So as long as you're in that net, you can't. I said, what do I do? He said, I'll pray for you. Your fast will give you victory. And she prayed. Brothers and sisters, after that moment, things changed. That same year, I got admission. That same year, I got admission to the university. Please understand this. This is real. There are forces that may be, don't think it's the, it's the devil. Devil will send someone to hinder you. Devil, you know what? Every time you pray, God will always send someone to help. Send you helpers in different forms. But the enemy may hinder them. That's what I'm talking about. The enemy may prevent them from helping you. They are called demonic resistance. Let me explain to you. Some people, for instance, you apply for a job opportunity, and the moment you apply, someone may decide, we don't even want to have this job advertised again. Let's scrap it off. Or you went for, went for an interview, and someone is there that says, I don't even like this person's face. I don't like her accent. I don't like the way she looks. Those are what I call demonic resistance. Sometimes they can come in any form or shape just to make sure favor doesn't cross over to you. But tonight, I speak in the name of Jesus. Every resistance to your joy, every resistance to your progress. Ah, I don't know whether you are here with me tonight. Every resistance to, to, your, to, to your advancement, I come against them with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me give you one more instance before we pray. Nehemiah chapter 4. Let's go there. Nehemiah chapter 4, please. This is not the time to sleep. Hey, my God. This is the time to do warfare. If you are alive and well, you know what is out there on the streets. Hmm. My God. Nehemiah chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 1 to 9 because this is where I'm going to stop and then we pray. This is the case of another demonic resistance. There are people who will not want you to do well. There are people who want to hinder the progress of your children. They want to resist them. And these are things you may not pick if you don't pray. You know, the Bible says in Psalm, Psalm 24, don't forget that. It says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, be ye everlasting up. Those are resistance. Gates are there to limit you from getting to where you are going. And if you don't, if you don't allow them, they can't stop you. Go back to that passage in Nehemiah chapter 4. I read from verse 1. But it so happened when Sambalat heard that we were rebuilding the wall, that he was furious <clears throat> and very indignant, very angry, and mocked the Jews. Nehemiah 4, I'm reading verse 2 now. And he spoke before his, his brethren. 
And the army of Samaria said, what are these feeble do Jews doing? What are they doing? Will they fortify themselves? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they, will they complete it in a day? Will they revive the stones from the heaps of rubbish? Stones that are born. Can you imagine? They were really clean them. Now Tobiah, the Ammon, Ammonite, was beside him and said, whatever they build, even a fox will go up and he will break down their stone. Can you imagine? Now, when they heard that these people were rearing forces to resist them, look at what the people of God did through Nehemiah in verse 4. They went to God and prayed. They said, hear, O, o our God, for we are despised. Turn their reproach on their own heads and give them as plunder to a land of captivity. Do not cover their iniquity and do not let their sin be blotted out from before you. For they have provoked you to anger before the, before the builders. To the glory of God. Look at verse 6. So we build the wall. You will finish. Hey, you will accomplish. You will celebrate your dreams in the name of Jesus. So we build the wall. You will, you, will, you will bring to pass that vision, that dream in your life. You will build that wall. That wall means your vision, your plans your desires will come to pass in the name of Jesus. And the entire world was joined together up to half his height for the people are the mind to walk. Please jump, jump to verse 9. Nevertheless, we, oh, no, no, sorry, move, to, move, move back to verse 8. And all of them conspired together, this is what I need, to come and attack Jerusalem and create what? Confusion. So when they realized that the wall was built, they now gather together with force to cause confusion. But verse 9, verse 9 is the good news. Look at verse 9. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 9. This way I'm going to stop and we're going to pray. Nevertheless, we made our prayer to our God. That is what you are doing tonight. You're going to make your prayer to your God. And because of them, we set a watch against them day and night. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer works. The people of God raised the altar of prayer against demonic resistance, and the Lord sent forth his angels to support them. Tonight, we're going to pray. When you pray, please listen. You are praying because you know God answers prayers, and he will not put you to shame. Just two major prayers tonight, and I'm going to stop. Just you tonight, and I'm going to stop, but you pray with all of your strength. Say, me, Father. Say, Father. Say again, Father. Destroy every demonic resistance to my breakthrough, to my progress, to my joy, to my fulfillment, to my assignment, to my plan, to my dream. Can we begin to pray in the name of the Lord? Lord, destroy every demonic resistance to the progress of my children my business, my career. The, please, forget about understanding or no understanding. Just pray. Wherever that resistance may be, God will pull them down one by one. That will destroy every demonic resistance. No matter how, how great, how big they may be. Jericho war fell down. By the power and the glory of the Almighty, demonic resistance will not stand your way. Pull them down. Those that are standing against your joy, against your progress, against your children, against your fulfillment, against your marriage. There are demonic resistance. We come against them with the blood of Jesus. They are prince of the kingdom of Persia. We silence them in our lives. We destroy their forces. We command them removed. In the name of Jesus, who are thou, O great mountain, before us you will become a plain. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting Lord. Go ahead and pray. If you cannot pray, then who is going to help you, my God? If you cannot cry to him, how will you be helped? I teach you to pray on this platform. I teach you the word. I share the word. I open your eyes to the truth. Go ahead and destroy every force of resistance against your progress, against your joy, against your ministry, against your fulfillment, against your assignment. Pull them down. Demonic resistance, I come against you. I come against you. I am moving forward. I am making progress in the name of Jesus. No more resistance 
to my advancement, to my joy, to my favor, to my progress. No more resistance to my breakthrough from tonight. In the name of Jesus, God's plan and purpose for me will come to pass. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come to you against your forces in the name of Jesus. I have come in the name of the Lord and I silence your plans. Demonic resistance. I silence your plans. I pull you down. I pull you down. I am moving forward. I am making progress. I am moving forward. I am making progress. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, make sure you write down these prayer points. Make sure you write it down. You repeat it on your knees. When you go back to pray in the next couple of days, till we come back on the platform, keep praying this prayer. Don't leave it till this moment. The second prayer, Father, send for spiritual reinforcement to overpower enemies of my joy and destiny. Send for spiritual reinforcement to overpower enemies of my destiny, enemies of my children, enemies of my career, my business, my father. Spread it out. Start to prophesy. Lord, send for spiritual reinforcement. The key word is spiritual enforcement. Send your spiritual enforcement, Lord, to help me, hey, to overpower the enemies limiting my progress. In the name of Jesus, you sent your angel Michael to reinforce Daniel's prayer, and that answer was delivered, my God. Send for spiritual enforcement for my children, for my family, for my business. Mention that area you need. For concerning my immigration papers, send for spiritual enforcement so that I can have help, so I can have support to move to where you have ordained me to do. Send for spiritual enforcement to overpower enemies of my ministry. That is sent for your enforcement. Let it be released now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Are you praying? Let the Lord send his enforcement. Let it send his enforcement. To so every area where you need help, God will do it. I trust him. Father, we give you glory. We exalt you. We adore you. We magnify your name. For we pray in Jesus' name. For we pray in Jesus' name. Let me add this one to it. Let this be the third and the last prayer. Let me add this little bit. Say with the Father, destroy every force opposing your plans and purpose of my life. Destroy every force of person limiting or hindering your plans and purpose for my life. Let's go pray in the name of the Lord. That is destroy every force of person or limiting your plans for my life, limiting your purpose for my life. Lord, destroy them. Every force that has gathered, wherever they may be, forces gathering or posting your plans and purpose for me. Destroy to Lord in the name of Jesus. The same way you pull down that wall against God's people, you will destroy every force. You better pray. Tonight may be for you. You don't know, my God. Tonight may be the night you've been desiring. Every force opposing your plans and purpose for my marriage, for my career, for my business, for my, for my life, for my ministry. Every force opposing my progress, your plans, your purpose for my life. Every force that is limiting it, that is hindering it. Lord, put them to shame. Arise for my help, Lord. Arise for my help, Lord. Let me not be frustrated. Let me not be put to shame. Arise, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. Because we know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I rejoice with you. And I know God has done it again. Those demonic resistance that have been gathering against you for many years, they are disappearing now. God is rising up for you. He's sending a spiritual enforcement to back you up, my God. <laughs> to back you up. You will see God's move from the month September 2020 in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father.